Good morning everybody, welcome to My Creative Time with Emma, and well, also welcome to another 3D Wednesday. I'm so excited that we're back on our schedule, because um, even though I've been creating, I, I miss a schedule, because this way I, I know what to go by and it's easier, There, there's no thought process involved. So, And I want to give a huge shout out to my design team members, Ms. Cher and Ms. Liz, for helping me out with the schedule, so thank you so much. Um, so for today, our um, project was for the design team to create something with a banner, okay? So anyways, I am going to show you what I made in my Gypsy. Um, basically, we're just gonna do the card base, okay? I wanted to do a, sh a shaped card. So what I did, I am using that cartridge again, the Artiste cartridge from Close to My Heart. I just grabbed this shape right there, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to copy it over. So I'm gonna go to the Advanced uh, tab up there. And then I'm going to click on that little copy feature. It looks like two different pages. And I'm pretty sure everybody always has their own method of how they, you know, like layer it or what have you. Um, how should I say? How, how they layer it. But what I do is I usually just basically put it right on top of each other until they fit perfectly. And when they do, all I do is I use my little arrows here. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring it down. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in for you. Okay. Um, so now I'm just going to bring it down here. And I'm going to weld these together. Okay. Oops, I moved it. Okay, you see how it is? There goes the two. There goes the two shapes separated right now. Okay. But I want to do is I want to weld them together. So I'm going to make sure they're lined up perfectly. And then I'm just going to do my left arrow. And I could weld it there, but the only piece that's going to weld is that little point. And we don't want that, okay? We want it to weld just a little bit more. So we're going to keep on going. We're going to overlap just like so, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my basic tab. And I'm going to click on this little feature here. This is to group. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to make sure both um, shapes are blue, which they are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Advanced tab and click on Weld. And then when I click on my eyeball, if you see that it's gray now in the center, that means it is welded together. Um, that it's going to, when you make the, that's where you're going to make your fold, okay? But what I need to do, you know what, I need, I made an error. I actually have to, I need one of these shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it. So I'm going to click on my basic and click on this item right here. That will ungroup it for me only because I need one of these shapes. So I'm going to copy it. I'm actually going to copy it twice, okay? But in the meantime, I'm going to group these back up together because that's going to be my card base and I need those um, welded together. I just want to make sure they are still welded. Yes, they are. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the shape here. And the reason why I take another shape because, the reason why I take another shape is because when you fold it, now that we weld it together, the top is just going to be a plane straight across. But I want it to still have the entire shape. So that's why I um, made another copy. So that's going to basically get adhered right on top of the card. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I put it together after, okay? So then now what I'm going to do, I want to layer this in. I want to in a smaller layer on the inside. So what I do is I just went ahead and I lined that up evenly. And I'm just going to use my hourglass. Let me just move this over so you can see this. this I call this the hourglass. I'm not sure what the correct term is. But I'm going to use the, hour, the hourglass. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go little by little to make it smaller. Okay, let me zoom in. And you see how nice it looks? Or I can make it, let's make it just a teensy bit bigger. That'll work right there. Okay, so those are my two pieces that I will. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this one down here. So now all I have to do is grab my paper, put it on one side, and then grab my pattern paper and my other paper that I'm going to use, put it on each side, and I can just cut out the entire base of this card all at once, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at my card. 
Okay, first of all, before I show you my card, I'm going to show you everything I used for it, okay? I use this super cute paper here by My Mind's Eye called Lucky in Love. And I actually picked this up at a Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. A really cute, I just love this color combo together. It's really pretty. Has a really nice um, double sided, and there's 24 sheets of double sided uh, paper in there. It's really nice, okay? And then I used my layering, the stitched heart layering dies. I used the small one on that set there. And then I used another one of my favorites, What's Growing On. And I just used the glasses die because it does come with the four, one, two, three, four dies, uh, which is the three here. And then the fourth one is the, um, the glasses. So I used the glasses. And then I used one of my old, my old schools. This is my very first stamp set I designed a few years ago. My very first one. And I still love it to this day. Um, somebody asked me, was I going to retire any stamps? I don't even know if I want to because I love them all. And I feel like if I just take it out and use it, nobody's going to be able to get it because it's retired. <laughs> but I love this stamp. This is my favorite one. This one's called You Had Me at Chocolate. And to this day, people still buy it throughout the entire year because it has some really cute, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be for Valentine's Day. Like there's My Heart Belongs to You, Where Have You Been All My Life, There's Happily Ever After, um, You Had Me at Chocolate, P.S. I Love You, um, My Sweet Love, True Love Lost Forever. Um, you know, and then it has your typical Valentine, like you could put these on little hearts, it says hug me, true love, love me, kiss me, um, be mine. Um, so anyways, basically, okay, I don't think it has kiss me, I think I just made that up. Um, but anyways, really cute set, I love it, okay? So I use, the sentiments I used from this was love at first sight, and um, your heart belongs to me. Those are the two sentiments I used. And then I use this banner here. This one is from this Build a Banner kit right here. And it comes with four background stamps. So this way, when you do cut out your banners, if you cut them out in regular like cardstock, you can make your own your own pattern paper. And that's how it is shown as an example here. It shows, see the little, the back banner is shown with the hound's tooth. This is shown with the little burlap and this is shown with the polka dots and this is shown with the little stripes going down the side okay so that's what I used I basically just used this banner here for that one and then on my other favorite favorite of 100% sweetness I use this stitched um the stitched heart die which comes with this set okay okay I'm going to show you my card now unfortunately my card didn't come out the way I envisioned it okay it still came out cute I'm really happy with it, but it didn't come out exactly the way I planned to. Before I um, go on, I wanted to show you. I finally used this. The sugar, this one's called Sugar Coating by Doodlebug Design. It's called, it's called Lily White Glitter. I actually was brave, and I, I used it because I'm so used to using my clear one. But I figured, yeah, I think I'm going to give it a try. And I think it came out really cute. I put those on the little hearts. Okay, so anyways, let me go back and say I this card didn't come out as planned. This is supposed to be something with the banner. What my plan was to use the glasses and put um, connect them to the hearts on the side as like a little banner. But unfortunately, I mismeasured my card, okay? So I just had to only put the glasses on there. But I kind of look, I, it looks like a banner. Like it's like a, I put it to the side, almost like a banner. And then, I, and then it has like the little strings on the side where it was hanging from. So I thought it could pass for a banner. Um, so anyways, it's not like a real, real banner because you'll see the real banners that all of my awesome design team members did on my blog. But I was trying to get the effect of a banner on the card. Like I said, it was supposed to have extra little elements on the side, but just didn't work out that way. So what I did was I kind of like fold, I didn't fold it, I kind of like made it, I rolled it with my pencil to make it look like it's kind of like a little bit more 3D. Put some pop dots on little on the little hearts there. And then what I did was I also pop dot up the little stitch heart. And then there goes my banner die stamp. Love at first sight with a cute little button. Now this is what I was talking about. Okay, if we turn this around, you see how the card folds like so? Well, I did I still wanted my shape, so that's why I grabbed that other layer. And that's the first layer within the second layer. So what I do is I just use my sewing machine to stitch it around there. And then I went ahead and I stamped on the inside, your heart belongs to me. 
simple but cute card. I really love the way it came out. So I just hope my um, when you look at it, you'll be like, oh yeah, that is a banner glasses. <laughs> so anyways, everybody, I hope you enjoyed my card I have for you today. Um, go ahead and if you're watching over at YouTube, stop by my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my awesome design team has made for you. You'll see some real banners, okay? <laughs> okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Ooh, really quick, I totally forgot to tell you. Good, good news. I'm so excited. Um, tomorrow, don't forget to join us because we are having our very first challenge of 2013. This is the designer challenge where each one of my designers chooses the challenge for everybody to join. So I'm super excited. You're going to love this one. So don't forget to join me back tomorrow um, to join that challenge. It's going to be a good one, everybody. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.